Initially, I wasn't going to bother saying anything about this whole Zoe Quinn BS. Not because I don't really have an opinion on it, I do, believe me. But more because a lot of other people have already weighed in and commented, people with a lot more people listening to them than I do, and I really couldn't think of what I would add to this. And then I thought, well, there are a couple things that I could probably add that I've said, so here we go. So for those of you who don't know, there's this indie developer named Zoe Quinn, who is trying to follow in the footsteps of Anita Sarkeesian in being the sleaziest, most duplicitous cunt in the gaming world. And <laughs> she's doing a very fucking good job of it. Now let's be honest here right off the bat. Gaming journalism is and, well, basically has been a fucking joke since around the PS1 era. It long ago stopped being about the games and is basically now just a cesspit of industry meta- meta- a cesspool of industry meta-analyses, fake celebrities, self-hate, and reciproc reciprocatory jerk-off sessions between journalists and developers. Do you wonder how badly games journalism has shoved its head up and up and down its own urethra? All you have to do is look at the fact that they've established Sarkeesian as a fucking gaming ambassador and awarded her for her bullshit. They even let her consult on games. Despite the fact that she's done nothing but spew obvious lies that have been shown time and again to be blatant lies about games, gaming, and gamers, it's the kind of shit you'd expect to see if you put Joseph Goebbels in a push-up bra, shitty dime store makeup, and gave him a victim complex the size of Belgium. I'm not really a big fan of the game... I'm not really a big fan of the game journalism scene, is what I'm subtly trying to convey to you. See, the thing is, for those who, for those of you who aren't gamers, the gaming industry is essentially quid pro quo. In order to have access to the games before the general public, and to have the ad, ad revenue from the game companies, the reviewers and journalists have to stay on their good sides. Giving a bad review to a game can cost a gaming site, well, a gaming news site, a lot of money and hurt their business, so they tend to take turns lining up to see who can give the developers the most sumptuous blowjobs imaginable. Then they go out to conventions where they get plied with other free loot so that the viewers won't point out that their piece of shit console, I'm looking at you Nintendo, is in fact a huge piece of shit console. But, I'm getting off topic, we're supposed to be talking about Zoe here. So Zoe Quinn is a woman who developed a game recently called Depression Quest. Supposedly it's designed to raise awareness about depression, some bullshit like that. It's a game that garnered some fairly good reviews. Until it came out on a blog post, run by an ex-boyfriend of hers, that she'd been whoring around with several guys, some of whom happened to be the guys responsible for reviewing her game. And before anyone starts whining and bitching about my use of the word whoring, look assholes, she fucked a bunch of guys in exchange for payment. It's whoring. You don't like it, translate this into a language where there's a better word for it. I'd just like to take a moment and interject here for a second. While I was in the process of editing this, I actually found out that Zoe has actually done a ser done quite a large series of porn shoots for various websites as well, which I find very, very highly amusing. I thought about it, and I'm going to kind of take the higher road here and not actually point out to you where all these porn images of her are, but you can do a pretty simple Google search and find them. The thing is, I don't bring these things the whole, like, all the guys she has sex with and the promiscuity that, if you read her boyfriend's blog, he goes into quite a bit of detail on how, on how badly she's fucked around. But the thing that I want to bring up is that I'm not bringing this up because I really have any problem with prostitution or, you know, women doing porn shoots and such. The reason I bring this up is because, is just to make the point that despite all of Zoe's feminist pretensions, she is fully willing to use her body and her sexuality to advance her own cause. I will now return you to your regularly scheduled rant. Anyway, all her whoring around really did is tell us what we already knew. That gaming journalists are basically whores too, so we really just had a great big group of whores all frantically fucking and inbreeding amongst themselves. It's what happened afterwards that really caused the shit to fly around the room at warp speed. People actually started pointing out that she was a whore. Shock and awe, I know. Then the social justice crowd machine got into gear 
and the censorship started, because it always does with them. She used her connections to her John's pimps, uh, whatever you want to call them, to censor and delete any criticism against her playing the victim the whole time. According to her, Wizard Chen was harassing her and leaving threatening or sexual messages on her phone, even though the, all that was ever shown is that there were two semi-mean posts on Wizard Chen that mentioned her. But somehow, she and the rest of the Social Justice Bitch Brigade are convinced it was Wizard Chen, and they know this because... Mm, mystical vagina powers? This, of course, assumed it even happened in the first place, because, of course, no feminist would ever make shit like that up to advance their agenda. Well, unless you count this mod announcement on the subreddit 2x chromosomes, where the mod specifically states that since they became a, sub a default subreddit, they've been getting a landslide of complaints about sexist and hateful comments, almost all of which turned out to be fabricated by other members, many of whom created up to five other accounts just so that they could send threats to themselves and play the victim. Hey, this reminds me of all those threats that Anita and Rebecca Watson say they got but never proved. Can there possibly be a connection? Nah. Anyways, by playing the victim card, she got the game journalists to start putting pressure on those who were criticizing her, and they got some of her, some of her, their diehard fans, and yes, gaming journalists apparently do have fans, and isn't that just fucking pathetic? But she got, but she got them to put pressure on other people in order to stop the criticizing that, in, in order, in order to stop the criticizing that inevitably goes on when you set an industry standard for starting every interview with, "Will you pop my knob for positive reviews?" There were YouTubers like Mundane Matt who got videos criticizing her flag for bullshit copyright claims. Then there was this tweet between Luz Zoe and El Chupa Cupcake. In case you're wondering, El Chupa Cupcake is one of the mods at R Gaming on Reddit. Not long after this discussion, the threads about Luz Zoe at R Gaming started to look like this. Seriously, I didn't edit that. The same trends have been going on, on all over Reddit. At least two entire subreddits that rose up in the ashes of this debacle were banned by the administrators. Now, in this case, there is, to my knowledge, no reason given for why these red subreddits were taken down, or at least no legitimate reason, just basic, you know, vague claims about witch hunting. So, there could very well be something legitimate behind these, but given the situation, I'm doubting it. Meanwhile, other subreddits have, suspicious, have suspiciously removed any comment or criticism of Luce, of Luce Zoe as well, which of course has only increased the ire and exposure of this shit. I would say that this is part of a cynical plot on their part, but... Well, we all know they're not smart enough for that, seriously. Most of these dozy fucks and beta bitches can't even function as normal human beings. But they are very good at trying to censor opinions, unfortunately. But this is the internet, and Zoe can't spread her legs wide enough to convince everybody to give her a pass. Oh, no, 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 maybe she can. I mean, fuck, it's gotta be like a slip and slide up there by now. My main, my main point that I want to make in all of this is that Luce Zoe and other feminists are always quick to stand around and claim that they represent strong and independent women. Those are women, these are women, however, who use their female lady bits to get attention from men, then get men to give them attention and favor based on said freely offered up lady bits. Up until being called up, called out on or criticizing, at which point they retreat back into a safe space to whine and cry victim while begging the enthralled men to step up and defend them. Using their tears, weakness, and the lady bits to get men to censor the rights of other men in the name of protecting the strong, independent women. Because that's a total defiance of gender roles, right? Seriously, who the fuck do they think they're kidding? You can't just shit in our plates and tell us it's chocolate pudding. Feminists are the worst and lowest of all scum and this shit is sickening. It's degrading to women that they claim to be representing them like this. It degrades men because these beta bitches actually go along with it and allow themselves to be used like this just because some dumb chick is willing to open her legs on command and it degrades basic human fucking intelligence that we let these people try to dictate how, so how society should operate to us. And developers, for fuck's sakes, don't cow it out of these people. First off, these Sarkeesians and these Quins and all these other and all these other fem fucks are the are the outer bowels of human filth. But more importantly, sort well, sort of more importantly, 
It won't work. You can't appease them. You can't work with them because they don't really care about games or their message or anything like that. They care about their own influence. It's not about women. Do you think they actually give a fuck about women? The only time Sarkeesian ever thinks about women is when she's sitting at home stroking herself over a pile of money and laughing at all the rubes she's fleeced. Stop giving her more power to take advantage of stupid people. And if you are one of those stupid people, stop being so fucking stupid. Fuck this dumb slut, fuck her johns and her pimps, fuck the gaming industry in general, just fuck. I'm out. Fucking feminists.